YouTube kick. My mic too loud. I hope not. All right, let's get this quick little video through. Um, kick, kick, kick YouTube. Listen, I'm not gonna mention no names, but there's certain kids I've been seeing in social media now that are getting involved with adults. And I'm just curious, like, do you guys think it's okay to involve kids in adult social media? In fact, I meant the title of this is, should we let kids into adult situations? Because this is what I've been seeing. Little kids, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, it's disgusting sometimes not everything obviously there's sometimes people put kids in their videos to be funny but i don't think we should involve kids in adult situations or adult social media for this fact these are kids there's no reason to have kids be in on our adult conversations like especially if we're talking about um sexual things uh sensual things in just adult language right i was watching a video the other day and i was watching this little kid and he was involved in saying something like, uh, uh, this is like, I'll kill you with my gun. Something like that. And it's just like, <laughs> it's like, kill you, with, kill you with my gun. And I think, that may be funny, you know. I think some people want to laugh at kids' expense when it comes to some things. Oh man, let me get this mic where I want it. I think people laugh at kids' expense when they do something. Oh, it's so hilarious and so funny because they're kids. And I'm just thinking, it's, at this point, it's kind of annoying and sad because I think because we keep putting kids in adult situations, the more we tend to do that, the worse it gets off, right? Let me turn my mic up. So I can get further away. I think the more that we continue to um, allow kids to be involved in these adult situations, the more they, they end up messing, being messed up when they get older. Kids shouldn't be around us adults playing around and uh, talking about the stuff that we talk about. And I see kids in videos with, you know, their parents being very sexual, um, mothers shaking their booties and having their little girls in the videos, or the mom is dancing sexually and the little girls are in the video, um, even little boys as we saw not too long ago. Uh, and then we, you see more in my community, we get little kids in our videos and we be talking about gang banging and shooting and killing and um, effing your girl. And we get that in our, my community more. And I just like, I'm kind of sick of all of it, man. Um, I can't speak for uh, other communities, um, but I mean, a mother or daughter uh, dancing sexually is always bad. Even to the point now where we saw, we saw the OnlyFan models. Remember, we made that video probably, what, two or three months ago where I talked about the OnlyFan model and her uh, daughter being involved? That's the kind of stuff that gets nurtured from birth. You understand? A daughter who wants to be involved with her mother in a sexual scene, that's something you start teaching when they're young, that it's okay. I'm going to tell you one short story. I knew of a mother who used to get butt naked in front of her kid, right? And her kid was sometimes running to, her kid would run into her uh, vagina sometimes. Um, I just happened to be there for this. But nonetheless, I actually ended up talking to her. I'm like, don't you think it's kind of weird if you to have your child running into your vagina? Because it's not socially normal. It's not normal at all to be naked around your child to the point where they're touching your vagina. Because the more you do that, the more sexual your kid is more than likely going to be. Like, what does it take for a daughter and a mother to be involved sexually with it's the same thing. I think there's something that gets nurtured into you when you're young. And I think that sometimes what I think we do with kids is we try to make kids our friends. We try to make kids our, our, our acquaintances, our same thing, but little, right? I want to say this and I'm going to say this again. Kids are not little adults, they're children. And the more, and we see this in other places, and I don't, I don't want, I'm not going to speak on exactly what I'm talking about because there's other people who are way more well versed. I'm going to stick with the stuff I can educate on, but there is plenty of we seeing what's happening to young children now, where children are getting told to make certain decisions when they're still young, 
And we already know they shouldn't be making those decisions because we want to involve kids in everything. But all we're doing is screwing them up because there is a time and a place. There's the reason why that we've been taught throughout the years that we're supposed to teach kids, not involve them. When a kid's five years old, we don't need to be talking to them about sex. We don't. We don't. Because you know who talks to kids about sex? A grown adults that talk to kids about sex? The weirdos. And I'm just using the word weirdo because you know what I really want to say. Those are the kind of people who want to talk to kids and groom kids, right? When talking to them about kids to make them comfortable. I'm going to tell y'all a quick story. And I'm just going to just be honest with y'all. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a grown man now. When I was a young kid, my mother talked to me about sex. Not my foster mother, my biological mother. And she knows this, you know, it, it is what it is now. She was young. I was obviously younger. <laughs> but she talked to me about sex. And y'all all know my story. Okay, if you don't know it, go look it up. But you know how everything ended for me, right? No, learning about sex at a young age ruined stuff for me. I'm not blaming my mom, but she didn't help. I mean, I'm I'm old. I'm 31 now. So I got to fight these demons on my own now. But when I was a kid and I was having to fight those demons, I shouldn't have had to. Sex should have never got put into my mind. But I knew about sex easily. By the time I was eight years old. By the time I was eight, I knew about sex. Um, and I knew very well about sex. Um, couldn't necessarily put it together. I would say, I don't know. I'm, I'm talking to you in hindsight. I don't know exactly what I felt at that time. But I want to say I probably couldn't put it together. I probably didn't know what exactly I was thinking about. I'm thinking at eight years old, I just knew that it was fun. I thought it was, I, I remember thinking it was fun. Like it wasn't bad. There was nothing wrong with it. I remember getting caught a couple times, but I didn't think it was a bad thing. I just thought it was like something we're not supposed to do, but it wasn't a bad thing. Like it wasn't bad for me as a minor child to be doing sexual things um, at that young of an age. But I didn't know until I, I obviously got older and then I really found out what pornography really was. Um, and this is the same reason why I try to tell people how bad the porn industry is because it gets to the kids first. As much as you think it's affecting us, us adults are battling with it now, but it gets to the kids first and it doesn't start with pornography. It start now, back in the day, it may have started with HBO, late night, stuff like that. Uh, Howard Stern, Girls Gone Wild. That was the stuff when I was young. I don't know what it was before then, but now you got sexual content put into just regular cartoons. You can find it on YouTube and just cartoons having you can find it on YouTube kids you can find sexual content anywhere for these kids and they try to get them all and they start planting those seeds of sexual things and then next thing you know the kids 12 years old they're curious boom they hit a porn site and and they're doomed you know what I'm saying they're doomed and because all they're ever going to get told is even when they're looking at porn when they're little they don't get told how evil it is they get told it's natural every little boy goes through it you know, every little boy is going to be curious about la, 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 la. And they don't even take it serious. Can you start teaching? Can we start teaching the kids, please? When I talk to kids now, when I, you know, in my older days, my older age now, not old, but older age. When I talk to kids now, I'm serious with them, even when they have the harder questions. Obviously, I don't talk to the kids about every single thing. There's things that parents should talk to their kids about. I, I'm not authorized or should I talk to kids about everything. But when I talk to young kids, like, um, just about, um, uh, certain things, I, I try to teach them that there's a place for you. You're a kid. I'm an adult. I, I try to always make that come across very clear. Like there's certain things you don't talk to me about. There's certain things I'm not going to talk to you about as a grown man. Okay. I know there's times that we should talk to kids about certain things and those are special situations. But for the most part, I leave it to the parents. You know what I mean? I'm not going to have those kind of conversations, but I always want to make sure that I do make it sure I'm the adult. You're the child. It's not a power thing. It's a safety thing because the more you teach kids about the adult child dynamic, the more they're going to realize that it's creepy when a grown man talks to you about sex. It's creepy when a grown woman talks to you about sex. It's creepy when a grown man tells you you're, super beautiful and you should be a model and a certain thing it's, it's disgusting when a grown woman says oh you're a handsome young boy maybe you should come to my class this is the kind of stuff that should be taught so when they know man don't say that to me that's creepy i want kids to say that we need to get kids to realize who creeps are and stop thinking that adults are their friends because that's what ends up happening when kids get into these manipulative and get you know 
blankety and blankety. You know, such certain things happen to them because they think that the adults are their friends. But we gotta start teaching our kids that adults, kids, they ain't friends. There's the adult and there's you. A 30 year old man doesn't need to be friends with a 15 year old boy. He doesn't need to be friends with a 15 year old little girl. Hey, let the kids be kids. I don't need to be friends with a 13 year old. And I know some people that are kids that are friends with the kids. They talk to the girls. I know grown men who talk to the girls, right? And you know, it's we it's been put out there. It's everybody knows we, we've taken care of it. But nonetheless, it's a scary situation to think that these grown men can be friends with these girls because the, he's cool. Same thing with the women. It's kind of creepy to think. I knew one girl. I actually now she wasn't doing this on purpose. I'm gonna shut up after this, guys. Y'all can end the video. But I'll tell y'all one more story. I knew a grown woman who was dating this man. And this man had a 10-year-old daughter, right? So this grown woman, <laughs> this 10-year-old little girl would stay at home by herself. And this grown woman who was older than me, I think 38, I think the woman's 38. And the woman told me that she was going to go over to the 10-year-old's house to hang out with her. I'm like, you mean babysit? And she's like, I'm not, no, hang out like friends. I said, do you understand? That how creepy that sounds? A 38-year-old woman hanging out with a 10-year-old? And what like what are y'all gonna talk about? Like what does the 38-year-old 38-year-old need to talk to a 10-year-old about as friends? And then she actually took it took it back. Like 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 think about it. If any 30-year-old, 38-year-old adult was saying, I am gonna go hang out with this 10-year-old, would you not be like, what? You didn't mean hang out. Y'all, you can't be friends with a 10-year-old. That's disgusting. What are y'all going to talk about? Girl stuff? You're 38. You don't need to be talking to this little 10 year old, this third grader about, well, 10 year old, what's that, fifth grade? You don't need to be talking to this fifth grader about girl stuff. You know what I'm talking about? That's disgusting. You know what I mean? I understand girls and women can be taught, but that, this, I promise you, that was not the case here. This, this older woman was going just to hang out with this 10 year old. Wasn't going over there to babysit. This 10 year old was gonna be home by herself. She was just going over there specifically to hang out with the 10 year old. And I told her that that's very creepy and that's very wrong. You are not friends with a 10 year old. And she got the memo. I don't know if she ended up going or what she ended up doing, but I'm just saying, this is the kind of stuff that gets manipulated. This social media got y'all confused thinking that adults can be friends with little children, that we should involve six year olds in our things is stupid. And it's dangerous. That world does not end well. Please be careful. Peace.